Now let's move on to understand that, okay, we have now understood what biosafety levels are, what a biohazard is, how do we contain them? So containment is a means or a, any science that we apply to make sure that we are able to confine the microorganism from exposure uh, to people and to the environment and therefore causing a risk of a disease. There are two primary containment methodologies. The first one is biological containment and the second one is physical containment. When we talk about biological containment in simple terms, it's a microbiological activity, which is used to make the microorganism ineffective in terms of its uh, potential to cause a harm to a human being, plant or animal. In, in more uh, direct terms, in terms of uh, definition, what would be done is the combination of vector and host in a microorganism is modified in such a way that the ineffectivity of the vector uh, to a specific host can be controlled apart from controlling the host and the vector uh, in an environment. Because we cannot work with a species unless we are having the live organism to work with and see what we are trying to research about. We are not going to talk about biological containment and the rest of our topic today because that's a subject by itself and I'm not an expert on it. It would be more appropriate for a microbiologist to talk about it. What we are going to cover in today's webinar is going to be the physical containment. And as the word by itself says, physical containment is any barrier that we create to confine the pathogenic organism or to control the pathogenic organism from it being accidentally exposed to the environment or the human beings around 